Yo, what is up Smash players? Today I want to tell you why Nairo's Iron Man completion is the greatest achievement in Smash Ultimate of all time. I don't care what super major you've won, how many you've won. If you haven't done the Iron Man challenge, then you are not the GOAT to me in terms of just skill in Ultimate. So this is a crazy accomplishment. And this is also why you need to analyze Nairo playing your character. In his YouTube video compilation, there are just brief cuts of every character. Some are longer than others, so that's luck based on how much footage you'll get. But I think you could find the full um, stream on his uh, enlisted uh, stream. So if you dig a bit, you could find the full footage. And some, you know, you'll learn more than others. But I gotta say, just for Nairo to be able to accomplish this is such an impeccable feat because... It shows that fundamentals are insanely huge and learning other characters may very well be the truth because I truly believe part of why he's such a beast is because he is able to play all these characters and he has learned so much from playing all these characters because it's clear to me from, you know, watching from his like Duck Hunt to his Ryu to his Almar, he actually has put effort in every single character in the game and has learned um, to an extent, every single character in the game, like he, he doesn't just play them. He knows their bread and butters. He knows their good like kill moves. You know, they know he knows how to recover. He knows all the basics of every single character. So I'm sure that has taught him a lot, and why it makes him a beast as his main. So if you're ever worried about dropping your character just you know temporarily to play other characters, go for it. It'll probably make you even better. And I want to talk about more in the future about learning other characters, and that's the truth. But for now, you need to go watch all the characters you play. Go watch Nairo play him, and I'm going to analyze Zero Suit Samus right now. And if you want to see more analysis videos in the future of certain characters, uh, let me know if you like my analysis clips. So here we go. Okay. Okay, so that already, these lasers are so interesting. Okay, he does Nair and then jump laser. I would have never done that and that's actually frustrating because i've actually labbed nair follow-up so much but like just nair into hold laser never would have thought he he misses it though and then look what he does here like that's absolutely insane so he goes from nair to laser it doesn't work which is already insane option but then out of shield here he does a full hot back hold laser which is just another option i never would have done like full hot back out of shield into charge laser it makes me salty, I didn't know these. Um, and that was pretty standard, like, Nair, Bear, Flip, Jump, Bear. Pretty standard. Mars watched my Zero Shoot Samus guy and I told people to do that, and he's like, no, no, never do that. But I, he does it too, so maybe he didn't understand what I meant. Okay, that out of shield was already really cool too. Okay, so he's getting Roy jabbed, and what he does is jump, flip, jump, Nair. And I should have implemented flip jump landing aerials way more than I do. I feel like I, I never really did that that much, like flip jump landing there, because you need to like, it's, it's kind of hard to time. But that was such a good like out of shield, like jump, flip jump, landing there. Fair. Okay, he doesn't get the up air. What I actually like here... Um, so he tries the up air bear, so maybe that tells me maybe he tried to... Uh, like full hop landing bear because he can't short hop up air bear that'd be crazy so here he tries to bear misses but i like how he turns around there because then he's forward facing which gives him better out of shield options but uh he just ends up jumping regardless but i like how he turned around i wouldn't if i whipped that up air i would not have landed and turned around so actually maybe i would have i don't know so again with like this jump back laser stuff that's really that's really cool. And I like how he does the uncharged laser, because um, it's less committal. I, I never really did too many uncharged lasers, which, and honestly, with this whole jumping laser, I feel like I, I could definitely use them more. Nair, fair. Run off, up air. Run off, up air is cool. Run off, jump back, up air. Because people get hit by like the back hit of uh, up air. Mars likes to do that too. I feel like this is all like Smash 4 stuff. Okay, that I actually really like. You see how short hop fares here? But then fast falls right there. Usually I would just keep moving along with my fare and then maybe get to the corner and like F tilt. But I like how he does like the short hop fare and then he pokes another short hop fare. Because I feel like 
I never really poke on the sides with fair. I'd probably like kind of be afraid and just like go back and just spam Zare. But I, I like the idea of forward air. I, I pushes them off a lot better. Has two hits. Um, I like. I really like that idea. Oh. And that's it. Um, that was there's definitely some interesting stuff there. So I really urge you all to uh, watch your character being played by Nairo because he's gonna do some things that you'll probably never even expect, and they're probably really interesting options. So uh, go watch his video. If you liked my video though, don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up, spank that subscribe button, have a swell evening, and I will see you next time.